You've been using assistive touch too long and you're ready to repair that home button. Good, you've come to the right place because today I'm gonna walk you through replacing the home button in your iPhone 5S. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit and for this repair you're going to need an iSclack, an iPhone five point pentalobe screwdriver, a Phillips double zero screwdriver, a Phillips triple zero screwdriver, a plastic opening tool, a spudger, tweezers, and an eye opener or other heat source to soften adhesive. I already have the majority of these tools in my ProTech toolkit, so I'm ready to get started. When you do your repair, make sure you follow the step-by-step -step guide on ifixit.com. Not only does it walk you through the complete repair, you can also see comments and notes from other users who have followed it, which can be extremely helpful. Please note, only the phone's original home button assembly will be capable of using the Touch ID functionality. Installing a new home button will only restore ordinary home button functions, not the Touch ID features. First things first, I'm gonna make sure that my iPhone is completely powered off. And once I've confirmed that, I'm gonna get started by opening the phone and removing the two screws by the lightning connector. With those screws out, I'm gonna get started with opening my phone. And to do that, I'm gonna use this tool called the iSclack. The iSclack pries your phone open just enough, making sure it won't damage the home button cable that connects the display assembly to the lower part of the phone. If you don't have an iSclack, you can use a combination of a small suction cup and your spudger to pry the phone open. Just be extremely careful not to damage the home button cable or its connector. Using the iSclack is super simple. Just position the suction cups right over the home button, open the handles, and once the suction cups are fully engaged, just press the handles together and you'll have an open phone. Now we have the phone open, just enough room to disconnect the home button cable. And to do that, we're gonna use the pointy end of our spudger and first pry up the bracket that's covering the connector. With the bracket cover off, we just need to disconnect the cable. But be careful when you're working with your spudger that you're only prying the connector up, not prying the entire socket. And now that the home button cable is disconnected, we can open our phone. But keep in mind that the display assembly is still connected to the logic board. To get it completely off, we're going to need to disconnect all the cables at the top of the phone. But before we can get to the cables, we need to remove the cable bracket, which is screwed in place by four Phillips screws. Make sure you use an organizational tool for keeping track of your screws. They're incredibly small and can vanish very easily. I'm using one of our magnetic mats, which holds the screws in place, and you can also make notes and keep track of where the screws come from. And there are all those cables. To disconnect them, we're gonna use the flat end of our spudger. The first step to removing the home button assembly is unscrewing the single Phillips screw that is securing the home button cable. This is a captive screw that is fastened to the cable, so don't expect to completely remove that screw. When the screw is loosened, use the flat end of your spudger to fold the cable down, exposing both screws holding the home button bracket in place. To remove those screws, we're going to need our Phillips bit. Now that we have those screws out, we're gonna use our spudger to peel the home button cable from the front panel assembly. It's time to get the home button out of the display assembly. Gently push the top left corner of the home button until you see the button membrane start to separate from the display assembly. If it gives you a lot of resistance, try applying a little heat with your eye opener to soften the adhesive.
Once you have that corner up, use the tip of your spudger to release the home button the rest of the way. For reassembly, we recommend you follow the step-by-step -step guide on ifixit.com in reverse. And if you're in the mood to see the reassembly on video, check out the iPhone 5S reassembly video on our channel. You can find all the parts and tools you need for this and many more repairs at ifixit.com and let us know how it goes. You can find me on Twitter at Gwendolyn Gay and follow iFixit at iFixit. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.